The Wrangler, making hoof gear hassle-free. You should set up and use the Wrangler on a flat or slightly upward sloping surface. Ensure the belly winch chains are set so the animal walks over them while entering. When the animal enters the Wrangler, pull the rope from behind to lock the head bale. Draw the rump chain tight to get the animal's brisket hard up against the head bale. Pass the chain around the back of the Wrangler frame and secure it in the chain slot. Slide the back leg bar into the small, medium or large setting depending on the height and weight of the animal and insert the clip. Use the small setting for animals of around 320 kilos, medium for up to 500 kilos and large for animals over 500 kilos. Pick up the belly winch chains carefully, staying clear of any kicking. Attach the chains after checking the winch hooks are set horizontally. Wind the winch to wrap the chain around the shaft until the wrangler takes the animal's weight without lifting her off the ground. The front chain should be hand tight and the rear slightly looser to encourage the animal to remain standing. Being able to slide your hand between the rear strap and the animal down to the udder means it's correctly fitted and there is no pressure on the belly. To secure the back leg, attach the soft leg rope while keeping clear of the animal's leg. Lean over the back leg bar and pass the rope around the top of the leg, above the hock and back through itself. Let the rope drop between the hock and dew claws and pull to tighten it. Feed the rope underneath and back over the back leg bar, wrapping it around once and onto the hook above. The hook indicates which way it attaches to the wrangler. The rope goes over the bar with the braked back leg winch option and under with the clapper winch. Stand at the side of the wrangler, square to the ratchet handle. Wind until the leg is held tightly against the underside of the back leg bar. A clicking sound means the winch is being wound correctly. Winding incorrectly may result in damage. The braked winch will lock the handle if the animal kicks. The back leg is now held securely for free and easy treatment of the hoof with both hands. Before treating the front leg, first secure the back leg on the same side to prevent kicks from behind. In the Wrangler with the winched front foot attachment, first remove the top strap and place it around the animal's leg between the hoof and dew claws with the knot facing forward. Feed it back through itself and reattach it to the short strap. Once there's tension on the strap, wind the animal's leg in. Use your other hand to bend and guide the leg onto the front foot support while winding. Wrap the braid twice around the animal's leg, then lock it into the cleat and tighten it by pulling upwards. Stow the removable handle to prevent injury. The animal is now immobile and unable to kick or fall down, but comfortable and not distressed. Treatment is efficient and fast, with easy access and no obstructions. With the animal safely and comfortably contained, the sidebars on the left flank can be removed, improving access for procedures like caesarean operations. With the animal standing and completely relaxed, it requires only a local anaesthetic and the operation is easy and hygienic. Carving is also great in the Wrangler. And removable right sidebars are an optional extra. To let the animal down, begin with the front leg. Whether you have a winched front foot attachment or the economy front support, release the front leg strap from the cleat by pulling down on the rope. Loosen and remove the strap or rope from the animal's leg.
To release the back leg, wind the safety braked back leg winch down to lower the leg. If your Wrangler has a removable back leg handle, keep clear of it as it turns to avoid injury. Stand square to the ratchet handle and keep your left hand on the clapper, with your elbow bent out and arms and head clear. Use your right hand to control the handle while releasing the clapper with the other hand. Once the leg has been lowered, carefully remove the soft leg rope. To remove the belly girths, unwind the belly winch until the animal is standing. Ensure the animal is on her feet and bearing her own weight before releasing the girths. Once the animal is ready to exit the wrangler, lift the clapper from the ratchet teeth at the same time as pulling the locking pin out of the gate. The animal can pull its head out of the head bale as the gate opens, allowing it to walk out. Stand beside the unit by the locking pin to avoid being hit by a swinging gate or rushing animal. On the walkthrough head bale, pull the quick release lever at the side of the wrangler, releasing both yokes for the animal to walk through. For more information on this product or other products we offer, please call us or send us an email. The Wrangler, New Zealand's specialist hoofcare manufacturers.